What's happening, everybody? Happy Friday night. It's the Pirate Stacker coming right at you. Hope you guys had a fantastic week. Oh, I had a crazy week, super busy week. And for that, let's have a shot. Drink them if you got them, guys. A little Southern comfort for the Pirate. Makes me feel Southern and comfortable and delicious on a Friday night. Well deserved, I've earned it. So have you guys, drink them if you got them. Cheers to you all. Mmm. Delicious, woo. Mmm. A little chaste, a little warm. So, tonight, Annex Submission number four, yes. This is my fourth one. Some of you are asking, why are you submitting to Annex again? Guys, I like them. It's a value move. For me, they're fantastic for coins under 100 bucks. I will be setting up a table at the Maitland Coin Show this Sunday. The Annex guy is there. They do a show special, 10 coins for $129 graded. Once it's all said and done, total cost is 164 bucks. That's shipping, that's insurance, that's everything. So for 1640 a slab, it's worth it to me. Now some of you guys are like, why do you keep grading all these barber halves? I have a plan, I'm not gonna get into it tonight, but it involves getting one of every barber half and as you can see by the little black lines, Pirates got a long, 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 long way to go. But I'm excited because I like the journey. So here's what we are submitting this time around. I'm going to bop through them real quick, show you what we got. And, uh, you know, I hope that I get less detail coins back. If I do get details, coins back, I'm not heartbroken about it. You know, for me putting together this set, I'm also going to be working on a Morgan set. It's value for me. And anytime I put a silver coin that's 100 years old or more into a slab, even if it comes back details, it's now preserved forevermore. And that makes me happy. So let's start right off. Number one, 1897. I think it's an MS61. I paid 30 bucks. These prices are $10 less than what the PCGS price is. On, this, on these cheaper coins, I don't see it being as big of a split. So when I say an MS61 and it's worth 65 bucks, 75 in the PCGS retail. So it may be a little liberal, but that is what it is. And that's the coin, 1897. I like it. I'm not disappointed. I'm happy. I think it's straight grades, and that tickles my fancy. And then, of course, like I showed you before, I put them in these latexes. I number them, and away they go. So not bad. That will be my starter. Number two, I got a 1921. AU58, I'm not even going to pull, well, we better pull it out, because you're like, hey, that looks like it's creased. It's not creased, it just was the plastic. So that's a 1921. I think this will actually be an AU58. Again, not the most valuable of coins at $52, but it is a nice big silver piece. I can resell, I can keep it for my own collection. It doesn't got to be perfect for me to love it. Next up, number three, a 1921 Denver. And I got these 21s. I got these all from a member in the community. I was happy to do the deal and get a diversity. I actually have 1921s graded in Annex, but for 30 bucks, the price was right. I have a submission and I'm happy to fill that with good coins. And last here on number four, we have also 30 bucks, a 1921 San Francisco, I think an AU58. Oh, the last one, AU55, 47 bucks. This one, AU58, 65 bucks. Now, obviously, if these come back at a slightly higher click, 
that's fantastic. That's more money. If they come back slightly lower, I'm not broken hearted guys. We're preserving silver history, beautiful coins. And I 100% believe these are going to go up in value. Coin number five, 19060. I think it is a VG8. If it is, it's a $55 coin. What is great about this barber half? It was only $12. Now there's some scratching, but they've been pretty lenient about that on these barbers. And uh, I think when you get down into the fours, sixes, and eights, they expect some wear and tear. So, you know, I'm happy to see what that does. If it comes back details, guess what? It's gonna sit in my collection because I'm trying to put a whole date set together anyway. Not even a date set, a whole set set. Which I know, it's ambitious. Next up, we got a 1908. I think it's a good six. Now this one I paid $18 for. If it grades out to be a good six, it's worth 40 bucks. Again, if it was PCGS, it'd be worth 50 at retail. And this one definitely has the hairlines, but at a good six, that coin's in pretty decent shape. It's not bad. You know, again, these are not perfect coins. These are worn, used, beautiful coins. Next up, heavy hitter. Very good 10. 1908-0. Oh, I think it's a very good 10. It cost me 32 bucks. This is actually the most expensive thing I bought that I'm submitting. I think it's a very good 10. If it is, it's a $70 coin, you guys. And if you do the math, I'm in at 32 plus another 16. That's 48 bucks. But at $70, that's a nice coin. And it's a great piece for my set. Love it. Love it. How are you guys doing tonight? You keeping up? You still awake? You're there? All right, I'm moving on next. Number eight, a 1909. I got this for $20. I think it's a VG8. And if it is, it's a $55 coin. Again, good value. 20 plus 16 is 36. 55, that's $19 in profits, theoretically, of course. But again, rounds out my album. I think it's a nice coin. This coin, number nine, this is from my pal Veritas Files. Now, I have passed on grading this for a minute because I don't think this will straight grade. I think this gets details for some deep scratching that's on there. But for the purpose of my set, I'm okay with that. So I like it, it was a gift cost me nothing if this is a g6 and they do give me a date which is or a uh, an actual grade which i like about annex so even if it's details they'll give me a grade if it's a g6 straight graded it's a 40 dollar coin if it's a g6 and it's details it's probably a 20 dollar coin but again i got it for free and that'll be a great one for my set thank you veritas files Lastly, yes, I'm biting the bullet because I keep meaning to send this guy in. Number 10, the Cheerios Penny. I got this in a trade from Let's Look Brad. I'm not any money into it per se, uh, but I love the Cheerios Penny. I remember that in 2000 when it was a thing. It's just a neat little piece, and uh, I want to grade it. I want to get it in a firm, you know, to put it in a in a slab so it's always like that. Now, this will probably grade an MS65 or 66. That's what's most common. In an annex holder, a 66 is worth 35 bucks. That's what it goes for on eBay. If this gets the 67, it jumps up to about a hundred dollar coin. Now, having zero into it, that ain't bad, you guys. That's not bad at all. So that's my lineup. That's what I'm submitting for my 10. Lots of silver, big coins. I'm very happy about that. Very cool Cheerios edition. Here's some pertinent facts. What I have here 
The grading costs 164. The coin costs, what I'm into those coins is 202. That's 366, okay? My proposed value, if these grade out like I think they will, my proposed value is 524. So 366 to 524, we're talking about a pretty nice $158 profit. This to me, I get it. It's not a home run. I'm not knocking it out of the park. These aren't $1,000 coins. These are very nice examples though. And if I can spend two thirds and make a third profit and stick these away, you know, five years from now, that third profit becomes two thirds. You know, that ends up being 50% uh, of what I was into it, I have now in extra value. That's not bad, you guys. This is what collecting's about for me. So this is my way of investing, and I'm very happy to do it this way. I like it a lot. It's affordable. It's low risk, low reward. There will be home runs. There will be opportunities. You keep looking, you find them, and they will come. And certainly, I'm going to look for the best examples on this list that I can get. But I'm not looking to spend $200 a coin. I'm looking, I want to keep my coins raw in that $10 to $30, $40 range. And that's really hard with these because some of these barbers are pretty rare. So we're going to try and stay 50 and below for sure. But the cheaper, the better. If I can get all my grades in that 6, 8, 10 realm, I'd be a really happy pirate. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, more to come. Please like and subscribe if you like the content. And I sure appreciate all of you guys. Tomorrow, I do have an update on the house projects that are going on. Uh, Sunday, I will be at the coin show. So I will definitely get some footage there, even if it's against everybody's wants and wishes at least i'll get my booth for for the most part but i'll get all i can thank you guys have a terrific night pirate out arg <laughs> sterling silver boulevard never noticed that but i like it <laughs>